I love to say that Tim is a living example of the Jesuit motto of finding God in all things. There's never a complaint. There's always the need to go on, no matter what obstacles get in the way. Tim's question was always, how can I serve? How can I help? And I look back on that now and I think that's the beginning of a vocation. My name is Tim Breen. I'm a Jesuit nearing the end of formation. So this is year 14 in the Jesuits for me. I'm currently a deacon, but I'll be ordained a priest in June. Well, Tim always loved to serve on the altar as soon as he was allowed to train as an altar server. He was never happier than when he was serving on the altar. Being the director of religious education, I have the benefit of watching faith formation growth in our children. I was not present at Tim's baptism, but I was present for all the other sacraments. What I remember is that his love for the Mass was evident so much. There was a depth of understanding that something was happening there. Because of his consistent presence on the altar, we were not at all surprised when he got to Loyola High School that he was considering a vocation of the priesthood. He actually didn't come right out and talk to us. You have to keep in mind, putting this in context, this is at the height of the sex abuse scandal in the Catholic Church. So for a young man to publicly disclose to anyone that he was considering being a Catholic priest really took a great deal of courage. We have to be who we're formed to be and we have to give that back to the world in order to save the world. And Tim is at the forefront of that. He's talented, he's generous, he's loving, and that flows out of him at every moment of his life. Tim is just a strong individual, and the strength is derived from God. As part of the process of applying to the Jesuits, everyone's required to, to do a physical exam. And he had had a physical every year, all the way through junior high, high school, you know, this was not a big deal. So to learn that your young adult son, who you thought was perfectly healthy, had serious kidney disease and was going to need a kidney transplant, that was just devastating for me. Tim's medical condition was presented in, in our prayer group. That lifting up in prayer really opened our eyes to how much it would mean that Tim had this community with him and then the, the, the larger community surrounding him. And at that point, the Jesuits' greatest concern was, was this the right time for Tim to consider entering the society. Everyone collectively decided that, yes, this was the appropriate time, and uh, it, it was the best possible place for him to be. The Jesuits have taken such incredibly good care of Tim from, you know, even before he entered. Vocation is bigger than we are. Even when life beats you down and life sometimes has, hits you on the side of the head by a two by four, which is a lot of what my job is about. Give yourself to God's love and wherever that love brings you and whatever God presents to you in that love, you do because it's God calling you to do it. From when I first was diagnosed, when I first was struggling to adapt to my body not doing what I wanted it to do. What I was really grappling with is learning to deal with this and to learn what my relationship with God looks like through this. 
I've been really blessed. And if you want to talk about family, village, community, you know, this, this Jesuit life, there's a lot of that. For me, what I feel like God is really calling me to, where, where I'm really getting life, where I will have life going forward, is really this Jesuit vocation. It's something that I feel so privileged to be a part of in a new way now as a deacon, and I so look forward to being a part of as a priest.